Hello everyone. So today I thought that I would ramble on about just random things and um, use these brushes to brush my hands and also the camera. mostly be a lot of visual relaxation with the brushes, but I hope you still enjoy it. I'm going to start with this concealer brush. Not very fluffy. I first wanted to talk about my channel, uh, just how I go about things. Um, first of all, um, when if you make a request, I do make note of it. I do write it down with your name, so I don't just forget about it. It's just certain requests take some time. Certain requests I I don't really have the supplies for, so I either have to wait to get those supplies or change it up so I can fit it to what I already have. I do hope to get to all the requests that have ever been made, um, but I can't make any guarantees. Um, also, if you, when you comment under my videos, if you ask me a question that is a legitimate question, I will answer it in the comments. But otherwise, I do not respond to other comments, just, just because that does take a lot of time and it's hard to keep track of comments sometimes. So if you, if you have a question or you really want a response from me, then please just send me a private message. I will answer, I promise. Um, so, yes. Um, also, I know that a lot of people um, get a little impatient because I don't upload videos as often as other other people do, I guess. Um, and there is reasons for that. Um, and, I mean, of course, this is just a hobby for me, so I, I do have to put other things first before making a video. But, really, the Making videos isn't a problem. Right now I have three videos that I need to upload. The problem is actually uploading them. Okay, now I'm gonna switch to this fluffy eyeshadow brush. So, my... the internet at my house is getting slower and slower, and whenever one computer is uploading something or downloading something, it slows down every other computer in the house. And both of my brothers are pretty big gamers, so basically any time that they're home, they are playing some game.
online and um, they get really angry if it's going, if it's lagging and going really slow. So I pretty much can't upload any time that they are home and it's, it's not, it doesn't happen very often where neither of them are home. So I don't really get the chance to upload enough, um, and that is very frustrating for me because there are times where I try to upload when they're home, and then they get all angry and they throw a little fit. So um, yeah, so I I do try to upload any possible time, but. I, I just really hope that you can be patient, and I will try my best. Alright, um, so that's really all I have to say about that. Um, I'd also like to talk about just the summer, just how my summer has been. Um, um, well, all through the summer, um, I go on camping trips with my family, and it's not really camping. We have like a huge camper that has TVs and microwave and air conditioning and a shower. <laughs> so it's not exactly tough living. Um, so I have gone on a couple of those trips and I do have to say that they aren't my favorites. Um, let me switch to this crease brush. So fluffy. say they're not my favorite trips just because I love vacations where they're completely different from your everyday life at home and when we go camping in that really fancy camper it's it's like it's the same thing as being at home for the most part and plus my parents always want to go to the same places it gets boring after a while. Um, and also I've done a lot of summer dance classes. Um, and that's my favorite part of the year for dance, I think. Um, well, just one of my favorites. It's just really fun because we're not working on any any dances in particular. We're not working on learning dances or perfecting them or competing them. We're just learning different combinations and trying out new styles. I love that so much. It's very... I, I love trying out new stuff, so... <laughs> beginning of summer, um, I think the very first week of summer, I went on a trip, real camping, to Canada with about 30 or 40 other kids and a couple of counselors, and basically it was, we went up to Canada, um, basically in the middle of nowhere, absolutely no cell service or 
civilization miles from where we were. Um, we basically went to an outfitter and we canoe for four hours with two portages, which sucks. It, it very much sucks, I have to say. But four hours in a canoe feels like a lifetime. It's ridiculous. Yeah, I was like, ugh, I was just dying. Just because it's, it's not like adventurous like you would think. I mean, it's not like we are canoeing over rapids. We are just canoeing in a lake. In different lakes. Um, but then we set up camp and, and it's a very beautiful spot and there's these rapids right by the main camp and it's just absolutely beautiful there. And at night, if there's no clouds and the moon is Know, mostly out of the sky. Um, you can just see all the stars. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, we just pitch a tent and I mean it really is roughing it. You know, we have to make all of our own food over the fire and um, there's no running water, no electricity, nothing. You have to take a shower in the freezing cold lake. <laughs> it's, it's very refreshing, though. Um, yes, it's, it was a really great trip, and I went on it last year, too. And I, I've heard that it's the last year that they're offering this trip and that would make me really sad because I absolutely love it. Yes. We just do all kinds of fun stuff while we're up there. You know, hiking and climb some some pretty steep bluffs. <laughs> but it's it's great. Not too long ago, I went to Warp Tour, which, if you don't know what that is, it's a music tour, features a lot of alternative metal punk bands with some rap and acoustic music and all kinds of stuff, but, um, let me just I go all over the country. It's just an all day, all day thing with multiple stages. Uh, you can just see tons and tons of bands. You get a lot of band merch and stuff, and it's, it's really great. Um, it was my first year this year, and it was awesome. Um, I saw. Right when I got there, I saw Four Year Strong and Man Overboard. And, uh, and then I stayed for a couple songs of Falling in Reverse just because I wanted to see Ronnie Radke back in action. And I have to say, with Falling in Reverse, um, I'm not impressed. I was hoping, I had pretty high hopes for Ronnie because he can write some really good songs and yes, Falling in Reverse has very catchy songs but Ronnie has, he can write some really great lyrics like Raised by Wolves is, is great but like Good Girls, Bad Guys, and Tragic Magic, I just I just didn't... I, I just wasn't impressed. And I'm gonna stick with the band just because I do hope for um, some of old Ronnie's lyrics to pop back up, but... 
singing, still singing, awesome. Um, and then went around the merch tables and then came back to see if mice and men. Um, sadly, at that point, the pit had already filled to the brim, and even if we had gotten down there, it would still be too far away to actually see them, so we had to sit down, and that sucked. I would have loved to be in the pit for that show. Um, and then I caught a little bit of senses fail. On the way out, I wanted to stay for senses fail, but my friends had other plans, and we had quite the knack for losing each other. This is just a powder brush. Um, but yeah, caught some good songs of Senses Fail. And that was pretty great. And then I um, went to the AP tent and I got a poster signed by Desjardins of We Are the In Crowd, Callan Quinn of Sleeping with Sirens, and Vic Fuentes of Pierce the Veil. Say, they're all pretty nice people. Um, Vic was so nice. He was just like, nice to meet you, high five, and he was just really, really nice. Um, and Kellen had some mustache on his face. It was ridiculous. And um, Tay said I was good at high fives. people that I was with wanted to see fireworks instead of yellow card. And fireworks is good, but I would have much rather have seen yellow card. And then I saw the ghost inside, which I'm not very familiar with them, but they did an okay, well, okay set there. <laughs> um, when I saw Mayday Parade, they played and Jamie All Over is their last song. That was my first Mayday Parade song. Um, and then I caught a little bit of Pierce the Veil and New Found Glory. Um, and, but again, I was kind of far. And for me, it's, it's hard to get into a band set if I'm not in the pit. right up front for All Time Low. They played a really good set. Um, that was real, that was really fun. That was a foundation brush. Um, I'm probably going to be seeing them again in a couple months with meet and greets and their new CD signing. Pretty great. Um, one band that I would love to see live um, is Paramore. I know that they're kind of popular, blah blah blah, whatever. I mean, I really don't care about anyone else's opinion on the band. It's just Paramore was Paramore and Flyleaf. They were my first real bands that really helped me branch out from just listening to pop music. Um, and yeah, and I just, I love Haley Williams. She's, she's an idol of mine. Um, and I'd, I'd absolutely just love to go to one of their shows. that I didn't go to work 2011 just because I know that they were playing that year. It sucks a lot. But, yeah, I'd absolutely love to see them. But, 
Those are basically the most exciting things I've done all summer. <laughs> I'd love to hear about how you got your guys' summer has been. Just what you've been doing. I'm not sure what to talk about. I also went to Nebraska, which hmm, it was all right. It was just like a hundred degrees the whole time I was there, so I couldn't really stay outside much. I've also seen um, the word alive, and we came as Romans. This summer. The word alive was awesome. I love when um, I love when band members actually get out into the crowd and like crowds are. I really love that. I hope you enjoyed this.